How y'all doing? It's your girl, Miss Brown Callie, back at it again. I sorry about being laid by this basketball wives. So I'm pretty disgusted with the producers for not showing the clip of OG tossing Evelyn into the bushes. So I guess Evelyn gets special treatment. Hmm. Maybe that's why Shawnee unfollowed her. I mean, Tammy, I I'll y'all forgive me. I'm always saying the wrong names. So I'm recording this on today is Saturday. Saturday evening. And yeah, so I'm gonna get into this. I wasn't feeling this basketball wise at all. Um they're back from San Diego. And uh your girl the fakeness is on a thousand. This, this is, this, I can't believe this. Like, are y'all even grown women? Come on now. Where they do that at? So, Shawnee and Shaq, them, they celebrating Sharif, uh, coming, it, you know, his health being back, uh, back on track. Um, so that's a positive thing. That's good. They went out to dinner and stuff to celebrate. You know, he's getting back, getting back in shape, recovering from the heart surgery and stuff. So kudos to that. You know, Shawnee's doing a little real estate thing and a little weed thing, uh, trying to branch out, get that diversified portfolio. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's always best thing. That's how you become rich, have multiple streams of income. That's how people become millionaires. Plus, being married to a multi-millionaire does not hurt. <laughs> you got your money from the start from somehow. I ain't mad at you. Jennifer needs to go have 1,000 seats. I'm so tired of her. You just got back in and you steady running your mouth. Causing confusion as usual. Like, girl, do you ever stop? You never stop running your mouth. Before you're talking about Evelyn Child, you, you constantly starting stuff every time. Every time you turn around, you. So now she's telling OG, oh, Kristen got receipts so CC. CC's not your friend. Everybody's talking about they're out to dinner. Or they're out at uh, Phoebe's. Uh, Phoebe's. Uh, she's going to be performing at the little club thing, doing her uh, showcase thing. So. They're telling her, Chris. Uh, they're telling OG that Cece's not her friend. This whole time I've been riding for Cece, you know. I still think that Kristen's a snake. I think all of Mark. Uh, I think OG and Tammy are the realest ones on the show. And the sickening part of it all is when OG confronts Cece about it. She should have just said, "Yes, I said it." I wasn't riding with you then. I didn't know you. I said it. I'm sorry. Can, you know, put it behind us and, and move forward. But no. She gonna lie about it. Just keep lying. Like, girl, stop. Why? You said it. Own up to your BS. Own up to what you said. Like, girl, stop it. Enough already. Now, can't nobody believe nothing that you said. Because you keep lying. Like, that was nothing to even lie about. There's proof that you said it. So now you're making Kristen seem credible. And we know Kristen is just as shady, she, if not worse. Kristen run her mouth just like Jennifer. That's why they keep being buddy-buddy. So now, the snake that Kristen is, it's like, see? Now I told you, OG, so let's be friends now. Girl, bye. You, you're not innocent because obviously CC felt comfortable enough to say that to you. So, because you probably didn't say some stuff to you, just ain't got caught. So, Tammy, of course, like, you know, confronts CC and, like, girl, there's the receipts. You need to own up to what you said. Just woman up and say what you said and be done with it. And Tammy confronts Phoebe, too. Like, yeah, you was running them after Jackie. In case y'all didn't know, Jackie can't hold water. Jackie just as messy as Jennifer. 
she gonna go back and tell anything that's said to her. She's gonna run back and tell it. So why would y'all tell her something? Like, really, y'all didn't know that by now? I don't understand why you would feel comfortable coming into a group of a new a new surrounding and just start running your mouth talking about people. Y'all grown women. Why would you do that? You don't even know these women. You don't know how they're going to behave. You've seen them on TV. Hopefully you watched the show before you went on it. So you should know from past experience that they cannot be trusted. So why would you think that they are your friends? Why would you say negative things about someone and not think it would get back to them? You thought you were special? Okay, let's see how that's going to work out. So now Tammy is having a problem with Phoebe. OG's having a problem with Phoebe because OG is like, no, you. I heard you made that video about me. And Jackie told me you made the little, your, your song about me. So, of course, they say, Jackie, speak up. Didn't you tell me this? Jackie said, yeah, yeah. Phoebe, you said that. That's what you led me to believe, so that's why I said that. And, of course, Phoebe's like, uh, I, I don't want to hear it now. Another one. Why are y'all speaking if you're not going to back it up? Got a little kiss anymore. Don't open your mouth and speak on stuff that you're not going to back up later. Keep it to yourself. Shut up. Especially you make a song. Put it on your Instagram for all your followers to see. So you thought that it was important enough to put it on social media and talk trash behind somebody. But when they confront you, you deny it more than once. Like you, why? So, I think it's interesting that the, the people decided to show Evelyn beating on her with JJ. Talking trash like she's the baddest chick in the group. Like everybody should fear her. Like she's Tarzan, hear me roar. But decide to not show when she gets tossed in the bushes like a rag doll. Why is that? Why y'all didn't show the whole thing? Why y'all didn't show? The clip is out there for people to see. Go. To, matter of fact, you can go to Instagram's uh, Basketball Wise Instagram. Uh, it's one of their Instagrams, and the clip's on that. You can go see where OG tosses her in the bushes because Evelyn keeps confronting her and and following her down the driveway. So I'm, I'm confused on. Why do y'all want to portray Evelyn like she's the baddest chick? Like, ain't nobody afraid of... <laughs> Who would be afraid of her? Nobody's afraid of her. I don't know who told Evelyn that she's someone that people should be afraid of. Like, you're so intimidating. Girl, bye. Ain't nobody afraid of you. And this is how the uh, producers want the public to view her. Obviously, because they decided to edit that part out of her actually getting handled. Because every time we see Evelyn, she's always the aggressor. She's always the one who's in charge, running across tables, throwing drinks on people. We've never seen anyone handle her behind. And this is why, because obviously, they're editing it out. They don't want the public to really see what's really going on. So that's disgusting me about the show even more. So the thing with Malaysia and Jackie is Jackie called Malaysia kids dirty. Hmm. So you really thought that you should talk about Malaysia's children and people was not going to tap that ass. Really. I know for a fact, you talk about mine, you talk about my grandkids, you are begging for someone to reach out and lay hands on you. The problem with Jackie is she thought Malaysia was her little puppy on the leash. Come tag along, come do what I say, and follow me. I'm the leader. You're the follower. Do what I want you to do. And you have the audacity to talk about somebody's children. 
girl, you're lucky you're not 10 feet under. You don't talk about people, kids, ever. You have crossed that invisible line of no return. I don't know what's up with these women willing to say and do anything. I guess because Jennifer, hey, Jennifer out here saying uh, Evelyn pimping her daughter out and it was okay. Jackie thought that she could call Malaysia kids dirty and, and it was not going to be an issue until that family heard and reached out and laid hands. Uh, maybe maybe there's something in the contracts saying that they are not allowed to fight, and maybe that's why she did it. But baby, you must have forgot about her family. You must have forgot that she got family here in California. Because I don't know why you thought that was the right thing to say. You don't ever talk about nobody's kids. Basketball-wise, it's turned into a joke. This this is not having nothing to do with uh, being any type of role model for nobody. This is about scraping the bottom of the barrel. This is my two cents on Basketball-wise L.A.